Hello Taurus, welcome back to There's That Tarot. I welcome you to your May 2023 reading and happy birthday to you. Taurus. Some of you maybe it's chromatic, chromatic scales. Isn't that musical? Let's see. Some of you may be musically inclined chromatic scales yeah chromatic scales guitar piano trumpet flute some of you may be musicians this one is going to be about grounding yourself Taurus some of you may need to get more sleep somebody's name could be Chris um I'm getting like, like a woozy I also picked up motion sickness somebody could be pregnant or um, something about sitting in the back seat of a car. A lot of you are going to be busy, busy, busy with work. Somebody could be very nosy or like, I don't know, they in your business, you in their business. They could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody has a lot of remorse about something. The color green could be significant. Emeralds is what I'm getting. I don't know. What is y'all's birthstone? I feel like it's green. Um, Sirens. I'm not sure what that's about. These are your intuitive messages. Um, what else? It's something that's like either you're going to choose the right or wrong. I don't know what that is. I feel like it's going to come out of the reading. Um, you may witness something. A lot of you grew up in church or go to church. Something about, uh, I keep getting like harvest. I'm, I'm hearing like church words like harvest season. Praise and worship, rebuke. Somebody may try to rebuke you. I'm feeling like that's on the job as well. Um, and somebody could be like a character. Some, something about your character or somebody. You could be around people who are like, you, you're quite the the character. I don't know. Something like that. Um, I think that might be it. I don't know what you for. It's okay. Um, I get one moment you're struggling with something, one moment you're not struggling with it anymore. Or you're fighting for something, or you're kind of like willing to go through some kind of drama in order to get something that maybe you have an emotional attachment to. But it's like there may be this aha moment, this moment of like where you have this epiphany and you stop fighting for something. This could be. As far as job is concerned, this could be you choosing yourself. This could be a relationship that you were feeling like, I, I don't know, maybe you just hadn't moved on from this and it kind of had you in a funk. But you being honest with yourself, it's like, how would it feel? Would you even believe? It's like something about... If you were to have an opportunity with this person, place, thing, again, job, whatever it is, because of the way something happened, because the seven of swords in the reverse could be, you know, somebody coming back towards you after doing something foul. Or an opportunity coming back around and it just don't feel right anymore with the temperance in the reverse. It's like, I don't know what to believe. Justice in the reverse, death in the reverse. So it's like, there's a part of me that doesn't want it to be over. There's a part of me that wants to make this better. There's a part of me that just wants to feel better. There's a part of me that just doesn't feel right about it anymore. And in the distance or the time apart, I've been able to see just how broken something is. Like, what? I don't know. It's like my intuition was telling me what my eyes didn't want to see all this time. Five of Wands is here again. It's like I'm making peace with whatever this is. I feel like somebody could have been denying how they felt too. Because it's like... My spirit was telling me that this was my soulmate or this was like, I don't know. Let's just say it's about love. This is my soulmate and I don't, and this, this isn't supposed to be over. Like there's still hope for this. 
but maybe in the reality it was like it felt unrequited or there could have been lies involved here but there was still like this i'm hearing generosity but interest and it's like or well, maybe there's somebody new is this a new energy there could have been a new energy no somebody has an issue staying focused it's like maybe they have somebody's easily distracted that's what this is because for one minute it seems like like let's say it's me and you and it's like <laughs> because I feel like I just got bamboozled a little bit it's like the person who maybe playing victim isn't the victim they're actually the culprit and that may be how it happens so it's like whereas i may have had an emotional attachment to this in the distance or in the time apart i'm seeing just how bad this was or something like that because someone, it's like they would want to fight for it, but they would cause stagnancy in the connection or whatever this is due to their philandering ways. Somebody didn't have, somebody has ooh squirrel syndrome. So it's like, we could be having this conversation, we're making this big plan, and then it's like, ooh, a squirrel. Ooh, uh, whatever, a new person. And somebody lacks focus and they're trying to blame it on something else and that's not it. That's not what this is. So somebody gives up on trying to come back to this. Somebody's deciding to start over. You're, I don't know who this is. If it's you or the other person. So to whoever it is, I don't know. Let's, let's get advice for both of you. Well, the, there's a lack of reciprocity between the two of you. Whatever this is. Something about the tides coming in. Somebody is dreaming big. And it's like, I can't deal with this kind of inconsistency if I'm going to get where I'm going, something like that. Okay. Um, so if, if there's one person who may still be stuck in, in the, or in the middle of a breakup or heartache, Somebody's not in the best place. And I feel if, if this is you with the three of swords, seven of cups, seven, the sun in the reverse, all in the reverse, five of pentacles in the reverse, it's like there's somebody here who needs to, it's like one foot in front of the other, one thing before the next. You know, there's, there's, there's a bigger issue that's going on with somebody here that needs to be resolved before they can do anything. And for this other person, it's for them to recognize that is this about this hell both people got something both of y'all got something going on one of you has a situation that you need to resolve in your life and the other person may be connected to someone who has the same and and whoever they're connected to who has a situation that they also need to resolve. It's like one thing, boom, boom, you know what I mean? I can't even, I hope that makes sense. It's like one person has their own situation that they need to resolve. The other person has their situation that they need to resolve with someone, but the someone that they're connected to also has something. So it's just extra. And yeah, it's like two relationships that need to be resolved. One person is moving on and the other person is slowing down because they're starting to see how it's the other person is slowing down and kind of looking back too. both of you are doing the work. Both of you may be exerting your confidence in some way. Both of you are seeing your your own specific situations for what they are. One of you wants to work with the other. The other is still afraid to communicate, um, but is in a very high vibrational energy. Wow. Ace of Wands. The Emperor in the reverse. I was asking, what is the mutual energy? The Emperor and the Emperor in the reverse. This is two people who are like going through training. <laughs> They're on different sides. And what happens is, because the Empress is still over here like, I don't know. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Empress and the fool and then reverse is like, I'm feeling me. I'm I'm feeling pretty good over here. I don't know if I'm ready to come back over there. But the, the emperor is wanting to work on it. The masculine energy is wanting to work on it. But this is a divine, this is a divine pair that are going through their own trials and tribulations. And I feel like something's going to bring these two into, I don't know. I don't know what this means. Ain't a source. It's like, right? I wouldn't overthink anything. I don't feel like this is in either one of your hands is what I'm getting. I also don't see, I'm not seeing, cause I'm like, are these two coming together? What I feel like is gonna end up happening with these two is like, or with you two, you're both being made to be who you supposed to be, <laughs> you know? I don't see you two coming together, but I do see you unlocking this new, you both unlocking this new level. I don't know why y'all are both in the reading. Because you seem to be avoiding each other. There's a lot of other things that may have your attention. Family. Trying to make other dreams come true, but... This looks like a, a missed opportunity. This looks like a missed opportunity. Somebody took their heart out of a situation. There's something they felt like they couldn't do anymore. Partially because like I said, there was somebody here who needs to close out a chapter in their life. And there's another person who I'm, I'm here and wandered off <laughs> and may have gotten themselves into trouble. And, and, and I feel like there's this empress here who this, I feel like that's the empress. It's like the empress is like, I don't know. So I'm just going to be over here. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm. she's like, I'm waiting for my ships to come in. And that's probably why she took her 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 focus off of a connection at all. That's what I'm getting. That was a lot. Y'all tell me how that resonates, but I'm just seeing, I'm not seeing anything come together right now. I'm seeing a lot of things happening, almost like parallel to each other. It's like, watching a movie and they show the different vantage points of you know i don't know how it all comes together when it comes together but for some reason like you may see this household and they're going through something and then there's this other household and they're going through something and you see all of these different vantage points and somehow in the movie in the climax all of these vantage points are brought together for like a larger purpose i don't know what that is for you Something about mirroring could be significant when it comes to that. But I feel like some, some situation is turning a man into a man, you know, or turning a woman into a woman. There's something like that here. Um, somebody's starting to see something or a part of themselves. It's like that was the part of my life that I was unhappy with. That situation showed me you know, what I'm worth, that situation. But I feel like it's happening in two different people's lives at the same time. I feel like it's happening, but it's like parallel. But I, And I don't see it, like I said, boom, again. The Empress, the page of, wait, not the page, the Ace of Pentacles. It happened again. The Emperor and the Empress and the, and the, and the Ace of Pentacles sitting between them. Why is the chariot in the reverse? It's like there's still a chance, but no moves are being made. 
somebody's waiting for something to end. Somebody's waiting to for someone to see the truth of something. Somebody's waiting. Somebody is waiting. It's like something is being orchestrated in the background. What is... I can't get off of it. Will of Fortune is still in reverse when it comes to these two. Something about the timing isn't right. The masculine wants to come back. The feminine is, is unburdening herself in some way. There's a start coming between these two again. But there, it's like something about running. This song always stands out to me when it's playing. I ran two miles and wept. Somebody could be crying while they're running or like releasing some kind of pain while they're running. But there's an emperor and an empress that are going through stuff separately and somehow, not right now, or something like that. I don't know, Taurus. Y'all tell me. I feel like this is something that's future, future, future. You know? Somehow these two, I'm hearing have a story to tell, but there's a lot going on in the in the in the in the meantime. Let's look at career. <laughs> a lot of you are going to be excelling. Uh, I feel like a lot of you are single, and I feel like when you're single, you have I don't know something about you doing better financially. Um, you could be getting promoted as you're. You could be getting promoted in your work life as you're getting demoted or as you're demoting someone else. Or so maybe you feel like your love life is going through some sort of demotion as your career life is going through some kind of promotion. Yeah, I feel like you're burdened by love in the background and kind of avoiding getting yourself attached to anything else. Meanwhile, your money is up. But work on sleep. Um as well some of you may wear a uniform or it's like something you're doing is like official yeah ace of pentacles this is how you get your mind off of whatever's going on in the background you're not putting you try the good thing is you're not putting your energy into something that you're not talking about you're keeping quiet about it it, it doesn't make you happy what should you do about that it, whatever this is, it doesn't deserve another chance. Whatever this is. Because it's, it's telling you to detach from whatever this is. Something about communication it could have something to do with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, or somebody who's cold. They hurt you. Something like that. It could have been a breakup, like I said. But this official person, there are offers coming in for you. And whatever's going on in the background, you're going to feel better soon. You're going to feel better soon. Because they're, they're, it's like you're being guided. Five of Wands in reverse again. This, this wasn't your battle. You know? You're not losing the war. Even if you feel like you lost this battle with whoever this is. This is about you nurturing yourself back to love is what I'm getting. Eight of Cups. Because there's definitely some some good offers coming in. But it, it requires change. It requires you ending an emotional attachment that could possibly affect your energy when it comes to these new opportunities that are coming in, Taurus. You'd be surprised at how much your emotions can affect your money. But Warren Buffett said, if you cannot control your emotions, it is impossible to control your finances. He didn't say it just like that, but that's the context. So, as far as love, I do see you calling in somebody. I'm hearing you may not be realizing that you're doing this. But in some way, you've told yourself or you've shown the universe that you know that you deserve love. And so it's coming. And it may be at a time where you feel like you're not ready for it. But somebody in your life was, a, um, I'm hearing Olympia, Olympics. Two of Cups. It's coming. I feel like it came with a lesson, though. Four of Wands.
it's like you moving you moving on from something starts turning things in your favor but you're making peace there's a, there's a fire sign possibly a leo with the strength card in the reverse there's a fire sign it could be aries leo sag but we got leo energy here strongest um with your the more that you accept something else that you can't change when it comes to your love life i'm telling you you're calling in something that's better for you but there's somebody that you love that hurt you that left a negative impression on you that is what's coming to an end and the more that you accept that move on and stand your ground protect yourself i'm telling you there's there's somebody new coming in let's see get anything on this new person coming in for Taurus this new love justice the ace of swords this is this is what's going to be right for you. this is this true this might be the one it's like you breaking free from this I'm not giving anybody else any second chances to hurt me, to lie to me, to, you know, give me less than I'm putting into the relationship. Somebody's going to see the truth or something. What's about this new love? Wow, six of wands. This could be somebody that's in the spotlight in some kind of way. Um, this is somebody who's been through their own trials and tribulations. I'm telling you, it's like your empress is in the making. Your emperor and empress is in the making right now. They're going through shit on the other side of what you're going through. So they're learning their lessons. You're coming together with somebody. Who is this person? You may realize that it's something about mirroring. Like I said, you two, it very well could be the person who broke your heart. <laughs> But there's some kind of breaking down that's happening that is bringing you together with another person. You may not know this person yet. For some of you, you know this person already. For some of you, you've had a cycle with this person already and y'all are coming back new. Um, for others of you, you do not know this person yet. But they could be a fire sign. There's, there's a fire sign in this reading. The fire sign could be the person that hurt you is what I'm getting. The fire sign could be someone new as well. But you got to let this tower fall. Because the, I'm telling you, you could be the emperor in this reading. So y'all could have Aries in this chart, in your chart. Um, but the emperor can also be a Taurus. Okay. Um, but you got to let this fall because this is what is, I'm telling you, is turning you into who you need to be to align with who you need to come into alignment with. So let it happen. But it's not, it's not, this is not an overnight thing. It ain't coming in tomorrow. The point of, uh, there's something about a help me or a helping hand or something like that too. Uh, somebody's name could be Lois. But well, okay. <laughs> Sorry. There's a lot coming. Um... What you need to be focused on right now is grounding yourself, Taurus. I'm going to leave you with this. The first step is to detach from whatever idea you had in mind, whatever person you had in mind, whatever you had in mind that has not panned out, that may have not been for you. This is your last day there. You know, go ahead and put in your what you call it, <laughs> your resignation, your resignation. Okay, you're being asked to detach from something that you've been holding on to. When we hold on too tightly to the desired outcome, it restricts the flow. And there's something that's already happening to bring you, the emperor, or you, the empress, together with them, the empress, or them, the emperor. Let it happen. Trust that the outcome will work out and let go of your attachment to it. Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Like, share, and subscribe if this resonated with you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.